Okay, it looks like my SG-235 tuner is working perfectly. I uh, hooked it up here this morning in the pouring rain. It is on coax position 4. Uh, this time I verified it. Uh, and it's, I got it all tuned up. Here's my little smart lock box, my homemade box. This LED is reversed. It kind of goes dark when it finds a tune. So we're going to go around the horn here and see how it does with the 100 watts here. So if we go to uh, 160 meters. I have it on CW, and which means uh, well, I also have the meter set to SWR. So we'll key up here. I have a foot switch here, so we'll just key up there. And we'll keep an eye on what the SWR meter is doing here. So here we go. Bang, it's flicking around, and see, uh, it is tuned. So one thing I noticed about this uh, deal, uh, let's see here, is on 160 meters, this light doesn't quite work uh, perfectly. It goes half dark when it finds a tune, but here it's actually doing the reverse. So uh, I'm not sure we'll count 160. I know it's tuned because it uh, the SWR is below 1.5 and it's stable. So we'll go to 80 meters, be a better test. So we'll watch the meter here and bam, it goes up. It does it and see the light goes dark. There's that reverse thing. So I'll try to do both of those together. Watch that meter. Bam. And previously I did this on all, that's the CW portion of the band, you notice. And I, uh, there's kind of where I talk there, somewhere thereabouts, anywhere 3,800-ish. And we'll see what happens there. Bang, it goes up real quick. And it comes right back down. Uh, goes. But once it's actually on that frequency, it, uh, when it goes up, it just has to go search the memory and, and close the right relays. So you probably want to do that before your amp is, uh, connected uh, actually I think when it does that this light does not go out so if you uh, have your amp connected up to this thing yet which I don't because I have to do some reverse logic and probably a relay uh, you would not key the relay you would not key the amp up while it's getting that frequency out of memory inside the tuner so you would be okay so we'll go to uh, 40 meters see what happens here I'll kind of hold this light up here if you can see it the LED Watch the SWR meter in the upper left. Bang, goes up, and then I got a tune. It's 1.5. It's not the best. Uh, I could probably get better. Let's try different portions of the band. Uh, let's take it up to kind of the phone portion-ish. And let's see. Uh, a little bit less than 1.5. Uh, so 20 meters. You'll see the same thing. It'll probably jump up real quick as it tries to get the information out of memory. And... Yeah, there's what I was talking about. So there's some RF feedback or something going on. And when it gets tuned, it should shut that light off, but actually it's still a little bit dim. It doesn't go all the way out. Uh, that could be just have to do with the resistor dropping that I have. The logic that they use inside that box to control the push to talk line is kind of whacked. And that's kind of what uh, we're looking at here. I built this a while ago. I'm going to do some more electrical engineering to figure that out. Uh, but for the most part, I just want to show people it is working, and I am a happy camper. It's 10 meters. Okay, 10 meters out. That means it found a tune. It's not the best one. Uh, one five. If you play around, you got to jockey it around a little bit. Uh, and it's, once it finds a match, it stores it in the memory of the tuner out there on the tree. Uh, okay, boom, that's working. Let's see here. Perfect. Really good match on 80. That light goes out. SWR, uh, basically one to one. You notice I still have my plastic screen on the, my 890. Never took it off. Uh, just gives me the feeling that it's still new. I got to take it off. It's a bunch of spit and every marks and everything on it. So I'll be doing that. So there we go. I think this is a successful uh, project. So it's working out really well. Uh, hopefully uh, this push to talk is actually really closing. Uh, could be some RF grounding issues, but that's a something for a different talk show. So there we go.